Here's why I said no to this collab. Welcome to my new series where I teach you as somebody that managed influencers at brands, what brands are looking for and how to make sure you are big brand ready. Now this one is interesting. I got approached by somebody who had a similar kind of audience to me. And this is somebody who wanted to collab on, let's just say some Amber Heard content. And obviously I covered the Amber Heard Johnny Depp case quite extensively. Now, whilst we shared the same audience and there was alignment for me there, this particular account that reached out to me was, let's just say, taking a slightly different approach to the news than me. So the styles between us reporting were different. They were using a comedic route and obviously I try and report the news, which is all well and good and it can work, obviously. But when I looked through their content, I saw that a lot of the stuff that they were doing was, let's just say, quite derogatory and didn't really align with my brand values of trying to present the truth and deal with misinformation and spin. So we just didn't really align. So even though we had the same audience and we were talking about the same topics, I had to say no. And that is a really important distinction if you are going to collab with someone. Because you need to think about what that alignment does for your own brand and your own business. And I'm very particular about the people that I collab with. And part of that is because I genuinely believe in building my audience trust in me to a point where that anybody that I decide to work with in future, you know 100% that I absolutely endorse and believe in them. And that is the power of truly being an influencer. Now, on a personal front, I don't promote any products as yet. I may do in future. The only things that I consider promoting are my own services because that's my living. So what does this have to do with big brands? Let's say you want to work with Coca-Cola or McDonald's or Balenciaga. And they come and they look at you. And that brand looks at your collabs in the past and sees that you align with people who have very different values. That is going to raise questions at the brand. For example, let's say you are a influencer with a family account and you decide to work with a alcohol company. And that's the kind of thing that brands will look at to see whether you do actually embody the values that you claim to. Now, make sure to follow along if you want more of this content. I am running a whole series on this and grab the freebie in my profile.